close your eyes and watch your breath. Take those instructions and follow the breath each time you come, it comes in, each time it goes out. This is how you develop your discernment. You learn something, you think about it, and it sounds good, it sounds right, but then you have to put it into practice to know if it really is good. So stick with the breath. Try to make the breath as comfortable as you can so it makes it easier to stay here. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, deep, shallow. Try to get the mind centered here in the present moment, because when the mind is in the present moment, then it can watch itself. And when it watches itself, then all the words you've learned about how the mind functions can be tested. Because that's what all the words are for. They're to point here to the reality. What's going on in the mind? How is the mind creating suffering for itself by the way it intends things? Because our intentions are what shape our life. They shape not only the future, but also the present moment. What you're doing right now has a huge impact on what you're going to experience right now. So you want to be clear about what you're doing. So the words are there to point to what you're doing, and it's up to you to decide if what you're doing is leading in the right direction or leading in the wrong. You have to be sensitive to the results of your actions. Because right here is where knowledge makes itself useful, it makes itself worthwhile, because it points out things that are here in the present moment you might not have noticed before. But the knowledge, the real knowledge, comes up when saying, oh, this is something unskillful in the mind, and I know how to get past it. This is something skillful in the mind, and I know how to develop, so it goes, grows further and grows stronger. Without that knowledge, that kind of knowledge, the other knowledge is pretty useless. It's good for decorating the mind, but it doesn't really accomplish much. The real knowledge that accomplishes things is when you develop good qualities in the mind. As the Buddha said, there are three levels of discernment, or three levels of wisdom. The first just comes from listening or reading. The second comes from thinking things through. But the knowledge that really makes a difference in the mind is when you actually take that knowledge and put it to use. So you benefit, and if you do it right, other people will benefit too. This is what's special about the Dharma. You give, and not only do you benefit, the people around you benefit. You observe the precepts. You benefit, and the people around you benefit. You meditate to get rid of the defilements of the mind. Which means that you don't, you're not sending tigers out into the neighborhood, and you yourself don't have to live with tigers inside. This is what's special about the Dharma, is that it gives you some knowledge you can use to find a happiness that's totally blameless. A, blame, a blameless happiness that not only causes no harm to other people, but actually helps them, helps you. So this is what we're looking for as we practice the Dharma, a happiness that's good all around. And it comes from taking the knowledge of the Dharma and putting it into practice. Otherwise, you just hang it on the wall. And you can look at it every now and then. Put it in a book, put it on the shelf, and look at that every now and then. But that doesn't accomplish the purpose. I mean, you think of all the many, many aeons that the Buddha devoted to gaining awakening so he could have the Dharma to teach. And he didn't do it just so that people could take the Dharma and then stick it on a bookshelf, and so that they could find true happiness within themselves using the tools used in the skills that he passed on. So remember that your knowledge shows its value when you put it into use, and particularly knowledge of the Dharma. It's only when you put it into practice that you really know what the Dharma is. Otherwise you discuss it, you can talk about it, you can argue about it, but you don't really know what the words refer to unless you've developed the good things in the mind and gotten rid of the unskillful qualities in the mind. And that's when the Dharma shows its real meaning. They have the word atta in Pali, A-T-T-H-A. -T -T -A. It means meaning and also means goal. The whole meaning of the Dharma is to get you to the goal. So make sure that you put it into use. 